never gets to keep its cover on for long. And so, here we are. And what do I got going on? I have been purchasing from a certain eBay store from a person named Tim. And Tim, several times I've used him for different ROMs. Um, Tim will burn you brand new EPROMs for your favorite uh, your favorite SCSI controllers, IDE controllers, whatever, the boot ROMs. I needed an auto boot ROM for that old uh, that data flyer for the 500. And Tim said, sure, I can burn you one. Do you have the file? And I didn't even have to because he found it and he burned it. So that's awesome. Thanks, Tim. So I'm going to link Tim's eBay store in the description below. I get nothing out of it. Don't worry about that. But support him and he can help the Amiga community. And that's freaking awesome. So right now in here, I have a version 2 dot. I don't freaking know. So I have the version 415 uh, for the Series 2. And this is a, I don't know, what is this, a 4008, which is the same thing. Good enough. That'll work. Let me get this out of the way. Now let's get this guy out. Boink. And then this one has a nice sticker. And we're going to give her the old leg tickle. Her legs are just a little bit too spread uh. instead of all of our pins. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Let's see if it works. I guess I should have used a ground strap, but I licked my fingers before I put it all together or took it all apart. So that should be good. And since we're so confident that it's going to work, we're going to put the screw in it. So when it doesn't, we have to take the screw back out. We actually sort of kind of cleaned up the desk from whatever the heck I was working on. I have a Nakamichi MBR, or MBR, uh, Nakamichi MJ516. It's a SCSI, come on, move it. It is a SCSI 5 disc CD changer. Ah, it's detecting, cool. That's awesome. The 2X ROM I had took forever to recognize CDs. And the CD-ROM I'm rocking, oh, Flash Floppy 316 came out, by the way. Uh, it is the 15th of September, 2020. We're gonna run a Mac Addict CD, because it's supposed to read HFS, and a PC CD. Norton Ghost, Norton Utilities, with my name on it from the 90s. I guess I had to sign my CDs because I was an idiot. I was having weird issues with the Amiga and when I have this CD-ROM. And yes, it takes a while to boot because it's got to read five logical unit numbers off of one SCSI ID. I don't know what I'm in. I think I'm in HDMI, HDMI vampire mode. So I'm going to put disc one in. It's going to be Norton Utilities. This thing's cool because it has a little flip down. It's slot load. That shuts and it reads the disc. You need to pause or wind your repeat. You do it for disc two and so on. Now, I should see the disc pop up in a second or two. Let me get this keyboard out of the way. So disc one just loaded. And there it is, untitled CD-ROM. It's Norton Ghost. And we're gonna go Red Amiga Plus, Red Amiga 2. And that is Norton Ghost. We can do the readme.txt. Oh my gosh. But I know what it is. The idea was it wasn't reading the Macintosh stuff. So I got a Mac Addict CD. We're going to press number two. And we're going to put in Mac Addict. It wasn't reading HFS Plus. So this new boot ROM is supposed to be better. I don't know why. It's like more raisins and raisin bran. Who knows? All as I know is... If it works, oh, that was so much faster. Yes, HFS disk, Mac Ag 35. Let's make her big. Let's go list mode and then show all files. Switching to disk two. Spinning up. Bang. Cool. Is there any icons on here? No. Tor won't launch. So, it works a lot faster. Having problems launching the tour from the left? If your Mac hasn't launched Mac, Attic after, uh, whatever. I can't launch it anyway. 
But there's the catalogs. Cool. Can't see the icon files because, of course, it's a Mac disk. But this is an HFS Plus binary. I can hold up to five CDs. We're going to put a Fred Fish in. This is where it started screwing up. So we're going to go into disk number three. So, disk three. It'll close. One and two are there. It's got to read all three again. That is spinning them all up. It's just rechecking all the disks to make sure it didn't change them all. And now it's going back to disk three. So it's a hell of a lot faster than it used to be. I don't know what magic science that uh, is in this ROM, but it works and it doesn't take as long to do things. And apparently it supports like bigger drives. Not that I'm using it, but if I got a SCSI to SD, you're going to need the version 4 ROM or better. There's Fred Fish, and then here's our other Norton Ghost, and here's Mac Addict. And if I'm on Fred Fish, there it is. If I'm on Untitled CD ROM, uh, plus, and um, what's it show off files? Red Amiga 2, Red Amiga Plus. Show the spin up. Come on, and there it is. If I want to read Mac Addict 35, we go Red Amiga. Two, right Amiga Plus, and it will switch from disk two, two, or from disk three to disk two, and there it is. So that's like ten times faster than it was before. We have five disk support, and the audio works. So if you have like an audio track, but I know the audio works because I've probably shown it in my original movie thing where I was able to do all that crap and then we can just hit this two and eject that which should be my Mac Addict CD and then we can press disk one and eject my Norton Ghost or Utilities or whatever it is for Windows 95 NT4 wow NT4 didn't have crap and then it closed the lip and then she's done so that is the GVP SCSI ROM version 4.1.5 in the Amiga 2000 on a uh, GVP HC8 or 4008 or whatever. They're all the same thing. Impact Series 2 SCSI, same ROM. If you've got the five, A500 uh, external Impact Series 2 and you want better support, faster doohiculars, and... Uh, better doodads get yourself this ROM and get it from Tim because it's super cheap like I'm talking under twenty dollars super cheap and it's a brand new EEPROM fresh burn he makes sure he hooks you up so Amiga community check out that link in the store below even if you don't need a chip you should buy a chip why because if you don't you're gonna need it it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it thanks for watching I hope you learned something <laughs>